Hello, my name is Michael Lavery from Cadence Design Systems, and I'm going to explain the SVA properties of the Until family. So there's a variety of these. So the basic syntax is like this. Either side of the Until operator is a property expression. These are the two operands of it. And here's an example usage. So what this property says is if B is true, then from the next cycle, C is required to be true in every cycle until D is true. There are various other forms of this Until operator, as we saw uh, at the beginning slide. Combinations of weak or strong properties and overlapping and non-overlapping forms, which we'll talk about later. So what we're looking at right now is a weak non-overlapping form of until. And because of that, what that means, D is never required to occur as long as C stays true. So that's a weak property. The right-hand side sequence doesn't need to complete as long as it does, isn't violated. C is not required to be true in the cycle where D occurs. So it's irrelevant what value C is on the cycle where D occurs. So that's why it's called non-overlapping. This can be easily expressed with sequences. So this says if B occurs, then from the next cycle, I get C occur, and this star means zero to an infinite number of times. So it's C repeated zero to an infinite number of times, followed by D. Okay. So let's take a look at some passes and fails. So B occurs, so the property is enabled. That's the left-hand side of implication satisfied. C has to be true the next cycle and all cycles up to the cycle where D occurs, but not including the cycle necessarily. So it does not matter at cycle four because D has occurred what value C has got. So the property passes cycle four. B occurs again, and D occurs the very next cycle. So remember the sequence equivalent, it's easy to understand what happens now, is that's zero occurrences of, therefore it doesn't have to occur. So if D occurs, there is no obligation for C to be true in the same cycle because it's not overlapping. Here B occurs, and C is true the next cycle, but the cycle after, cycle 10, it's not, and D is not true. Therefore, that's a failure at cycle 10. B is true here. C goes high the next cycle and stays high for infinity and D doesn't occur. So the property will pass here. Formal and simulation will indicate that property is passing, even though D has not occurred. That's what a weak property is. Another form of until is until with. So again, very similar syntax. The only thing different here is we've got underscore or with instead, and that is a weak overlapping form of until. So what this means is if B occurs, then from the next cycle, C is required to be true until D is, but the important difference here is including the cycle where D becomes true, C is required to be true as well. So that's why it's called overlapping, because C and D must be true in the same cycle. Otherwise, it's deemed a failure. So the sequence equivalent of this, all I've done is changed the star, which means zero to an infinite number of, to a plus, which means one to an infinite number of. And I've changed this to hash hash zero to indicate a, what's called a sequence fusion. So the final cycle of this sequence of C's is also the uh, cycle where D occurs. That's what hash hash zero means. So again, let's look at passes and fails. B is true here, and C stays true up to the cycle before D occurs. So remember, it's a overlapping form, therefore that's a failure. C has to be true at cycle four as well. If that's the first time D occurs, C must be true as well. If B occurs here, then the very next cycle D becomes true. That does not satisfy our property. If you look at this one, the sequential one, that a minimum number of one occurrences of C. Okay, so if C had been true on cycle six, that would have passed, but it wasn't there, therefore it fails. Here we've got B occurring, and C is true up to and including the cycle where D occurs, so cycle 12 is a pass. And here, B is true, C is true the next cycle and stays high to infinity, and D does not occur. Remember, this is a weak form, so in formal and simulation, that's a pass. There is no obligation for D to occur. S underscore on the beginning of a property, this was introduced in the 2009 language reference manual. Uh, this is a strong operator, so there's lots of different LTL operators with S underscore on the front. That means a strong. So again, the only thing different about this example is we've got S underscore on the front now, and this means, because of that, this is a strong, non-overlapping form now. So what this means is if B occurs, then from the next cycle, C is required to be true every cycle until D is, just like before. But because it's a strong form, D is required to occur, so that's a strong property. The whole right-hand side must complete in order for it to be a pass. And because it's not the overlapping form, the overlapping form was until with, this just says until. Therefore, C is not required to be true in the cycle where D occurs. And the sequential equivalence of this will be the same as the sequential equivalence of the until without the S underscore on the front, but with strong. So we wrap this sequence here in strong. Strong means that sequence must complete. So you can see here that the it's really easy to understand, easy, easier in my opinion, what the sequence property is doing rather than what this is doing because you have to memorize now what what s underscore does 
So here we've got B occurring. C is true from the next cycle until the cycle before D occurs. So once D occurs, it doesn't matter what C is anymore. So the property passes there. B occurs, the very next cycle we've got A, D. There's no obligation for C to occur, therefore that passes. Here, B occurs, next cycle C is true, but the cycle after it's not, and D is not true, therefore that's a failure at cycle 10. Here, D occurs, C stays true to infinity, and D never occurs, that's a failure because it's a strong property. S underscore with, again, this is the same as the previous until with example, but with S underscore on the front. So B occurs, then from the next cycle, C is required to be true every cycle until D is true, including the cycle where D becomes true. That's what the until with means. As it's a strong form, D is required to occur, a strong property. And because it's overlapping, C is required to be true in the cycle where D occurs. And again, if we do the equivalent sequence here, all we need to do is wrap the previous sequence we had with the weak form of this with the keyword strong, which means this sequence must complete. So here we've got B occurring, C stays high, but it doesn't stay high in the cycle where D occurs, therefore that's a failure because it's an until with. Here, B occurs, D occurs the next cycle, but C does not occur with it, therefore that's a failure. Here, B occurs, C stays high up to and including the cycle where D occurs, therefore it's a pass. Here, B occurs, C stays high to infinity, but D never occurs, that is a failure because it's a strong property. So we've seen the every property that was showing a until uh, property, all the different forms of it, had a sequence equivalent. So the question is, wh what would I use then, being as they're equivalent? Why would I choose one against the other? The disadvantages of until is you have to remember what each one does, and that's not convenient. You know, it's, it's not part of your J day job to memorize what the language reference manual says. This isn't convenient, and it's really easy to make mistakes. It's inviting problems. With sequences, there's never any ambiguity or doubt. All you have to know is what a sequence does, which you can't get away without knowing anyway if you're using SVA. The only thing you could say, uh, objectively, is, is the, only, the only good thing about it is you could argue that it's slightly more read, readable. That's a really poor argument in my view. Okay, so I would personally, I would always use the sequence. Never, never touch these until operators. Okay, so that concludes this um, video. Thanks for listening and goodbye.